<laughs> hey guys welcome back to the channel today is thursday we've had crazy icy weather here in dallas and we've been cooped up at home today's finally the first day where let me open the window okay <clears throat> today's finally the first day where the ice has melted off the road so my husband just went to go buy a few groceries because we're running out of food <laughs> but um yeah join mom me today them. mom show them outside uh well i'll insert some clips right here of all the ice it's crazy out there and the leaves and everything's covered in ice. But anyway, uh, welcome guys back to the channel and today we're gonna be working on a few orders that I have to finish by this weekend. And what else? It's not a lot, but thank you for joining us anyway and I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the video. I also went to buy more cups. So here's my 20 ounce skinnies. Put these away. And I also bought tape. Keep us back up. And they all come with um, stainless steel straws. A question I know a lot of you guys that are watching this video these videos <laughs> that are watching these videos also have your own small businesses as well so if you do have a small business make sure you leave me a comment down below with your business name even a link to your Etsy shop or whatever it is because I love to look and check everything out as well yeah I was wanting to have a little confession one-on-one -on -one with you so oh, that scared me <laughs> my question is so i it's not the first time it happens to me but what do you do in an instance where someone submits and maybe you know what it's my fault because i shouldn't work on things let me explain so you guys can get the gist of it so what do you do in a situation where you think it's a friend and they ask you for an order and because of your relationship with them you're like sure i'll make it for you of course no worries and so you make the order for them but then you send them the how much it costs what the total amount is and they don't pay you so maybe this is a lesson for me and maybe it's a lesson for you uh don't take orders unless you receive payment first and i always wonder why people do that especially when you know you're such a small business who's starting out maybe they expect you to give them a discount because they know you i don't know i'm just like i don't understand I'll, I'm, a, I'm always so naive i'm like i would never do that so why would somebody ever do that to someone else but people obviously do curious as to you how you guys handle that situation and then also another thought i always think to myself i'm like when you order for example from amazon everybody orders from amazon right you don't ask amazon to send you stuff without payment right <laughs> you pay amazon and then you receive your product so i'm like i just don't understand how people do that so how do you guys go about this how do you guys handle those types of situations i think for me moving forward i'm gonna have to charge i'm gonna be like amazon i'm gonna charge you for the product initially and then i'll work on it it might be a processing time which Ooh, there's ice falling from the roof me making the product and getting everything to make you what it is you're asking me for because i do focus on a lot of custom work so it takes time 
And then I also saw a question that I'll just go ahead and answer. Someone left me a comment and said, why don't you make the transfer yourself? It seems like a waste of time. And since one of my videos is getting a lot of traffic, sometimes I get people who leave not very nice comments. You know what, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it. And learn a life lesson, right? Just be kind, you guys. The reason I don't make my transfers is because I don't have the printing capabilities to do so. So that's why either I create custom designs or sometimes I purchase them on Etsy because uh, there's designers who will sell you their designs as long as you pay them and you pay for the licenses, you're good to go and uh, you can use the designs. That's why I have them sent to a printer and they make them for me. It's a professional printer. The small machine can cost you from $5,000 which make one design at a time versus a machine. A professional printing company will make you a whole sheet like I get and those machines can cost up to twenty to thirty thousand dollars and I'm just a small one person team my husband helps me when he can and sometimes my mom will come help me if she has time so I don't have that capital to invest in these printing machines that's a goal I would love to have my own printing machine and maybe my little shop and create custom work and have it printed in the same day there's a waiting time that I have to wait to get these designs shipped to me because I obviously get them made from a from a third party a printing company just to answer that question I received and yeah you know I'm just doing the best that I can with what I have and with the resources that I'm finding and um, it's, it takes a lot of time and research to find all of these things so yeah that's all I wanted to say let's get to work because I have to make a shirt and a little let me show you it's so cute it's this thing what is this called let me google let me find out what the name is so I don't butcher it okay it's called a sash so it's a sash. It's for a baby shower. It's actually one of my really good friends and it's her baby shower this weekend. So she wanted to say grandma and then her mom's name. It's so cute. She made this, which she's so talented. Uh, she's one of the most talented people I know and she's a perfectionist. So everything is. So I have to make this look really good for her. <laughs> and then I also am making a shirt that is for her hubby. So yeah, let's get to it. I stand alone 
show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know We're all in this, I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know Checking and making sure I didn't miss anything. See, there's a little sneaky punk. <laughs> What do you guys think? Isn't it cute? I love it. Let's put it on a shirt. change of plans we're gonna do the sweater instead luckily I had this extra sweater <laughs> we're doing the sweater instead of the shirt because it, um, I sent them the shirt and I think it runs a little small and we don't want um, the shirt to fit small we want it to fit so we're gonna do this sweater it's a size large instead so let's put the design on this now
No, you didn't. The reason you guys can read it is because I didn't mirror the image. <laughs> round two again <laughs> I'm gonna leave this in the video because I want you guys to see the reality of not doing things correctly and you have to redo it so I even have a sticky that says mirror image because the amount of times that I've done this you think I would learn by now but I haven't so let's do this again Let me put it on because I want to make sure I put it the right way since I'm on a roll making mistakes right now. Let me turn my iron on. Okay, so this is what it looks like right now, but she also wanted gold. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to put a little gold heart here or maybe I'll do fill in those hearts with gold. And at the end, I think I'm going to put the date of the baby shower so I can keep this um, as a reminder of the baby shower. So let's do that now. The camera died so I'm filming on my phone now but here's the gold pieces that I'm about to weed so let me put you on the tripod and let's get to work I'm gonna do one piece at a time I actually love how the gold reflects. It's perfect. Let me put it on so you guys can see what it looks like. Okay. Look how cute it is. I love it. If you're wondering why I have a Target shirt, my mom retired from Target. <laughs> so. It's perfect. I love the way it turned out. I hope she loves it. Okay, those are my two orders. So let's package this up. I'm just going to put it inside of a little clear baggie. Actually, do I have small ones? I had saved a clear bag. Let me go look for it. I forgot what I ordered. Oh, I ordered this little booklet. And it came in this bag and I'm like, you know what? I could probably use this. So 
package it in here so it's nice and safe. button work yeah this perfect it's perfect so let's package this up and get it ready to deliver all right I'm gonna put this sweater in this bag Goodness gracious, I'm falling apart over here, guys. <clears throat> okay. Okay. And then this one, we'll put in a little clear bag. Because I have some of those, but they're tiny. But it's perfect for this, so we'll do this. Here, you know what? I should put a sticker of my logo on this. A little one. Also, many different sizes just in case. Let's see, they come in handy. Perfect. So, we'll put it in this little baggie. Trying to see my logo through there. So there's that order, and I'm so happy it's done. Yay! If you're interested, I bought this at um, Hobby Lobby. Okay, order is ready to go. And let's see. I cleaned everything up. Battery is charging for this. Let me put this up here so I can be nice and organized. That Sizer brand is really good, by the way. <laughs> all right, guys, that is it for this week. Thank you so much for tuning in all the way to the end of the video. I love you guys. If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome. I appreciate you guys. And I hope you are looking forward to the content that is to come. Uh, let's see, for next week, we have a few orders already pending. Um, I still have an order pending because with this ice, there hasn't been any mail. So I'm praying to God that this print that I'm waiting for comes in because I do not want to wake, make my client wait any longer. Like it's embarrassing. What else? I have two cups I need to make for next week and I'll have to design those because they're custom. And yeah so i hope you guys join me next week as well thank you so much for making it all the way to the end of the video i love you guys so much and see you next week bye